So hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about the general health scares that happen in tech. So I've had one surgery before and it's very related to how I've been working over the past few years. In this video I want to talk about my health journey, what to keep in mind if you're thinking of working as a software developer, how I was a fairly complacent employee yet had very bad health issues, how I worked 100 hour weeks but was able to take care of my health very well. In this video, let's try to capture the knowledge that I have gained and a bunch of other senior engineers as to how you can take care of your health in tech. With that, let's get into it. So let's begin with my journey. Uh, I graduated in 2018 and when I joined Goldman Sachs, which was my first on-site offer in Bangalore, six months into it, I had my first health care. I have a detailed video on this from four years ago, but long story short, I had what's called a slip disc, which is fairly common in the tech industry. If your posture isn't correct for a really long time, which is generally true for software developers, one of your discs slips out of your back and that causes, that's not a problem usually. Most people have some sort of a bulging disc. It becomes a problem when it starts to hit a nerve, which started to happen for me in January 2019. From January 2019 to January 2020, for a year, I was in excruciating pain. I would still go to the office in Bangalore. Interestingly, I would go on a two-wheeler on like really bad roads, which was in hindsight, not the best thing I should have done. And all of this because Goldman's bonus cycle is in January. So the first key, key takeaway is money will always come in some form or fashion. Uh, for me, the bonus in Jan 2020 ended up being 5 lakh rupees post tax. So just for 5 lakh rupees, I was in pain for a year so that I would get a good bonus cycle. The next year, I did not want to take a medical leave of three months and lose out on my bonus. Worst thing I would have done. Once I left Goldman, I realized how much money there is to make and how just an extra $500 a month or 40,000 rupees a month wasn't really worth it. So there will be times like these in life, especially if you've just graduated from college, you feel like money matters much more than health. From my experience and a bunch of other senior engineers, you'll see in the comments below, it does not matter what matters is your health. You will make money if you are healthy. If you talk to my manager at Goldman, for that one year, I wasn't able to contribute as much. Uh, I had a back pain. I used to take like three to four meds a day. I would take one hour for a physiotherapy session in the middle of the day. It was so bad that at the end, when I was leaving Goldman, not really leaving Goldman, I was. I told my manager about my salary. He was so frustrated. He was like, just check in your work and go. So it's that bad. So it's not worth keeping both the parties unhappy, you being unhappy yourself and your employer at the same time. So first fix your health. If you ever get a health scare, go there, fix yourself. Tech companies specifically, maybe not finance, but like pure tech companies are super empathetic to employees when it comes to health scares. So you get insurance, you get unlimited medical leave. If you have a surgery, if you have to take a bed rest after that, I got a three month break right after my surgery. And that gave me time to introspect and realize that there are a few, two things I was missing in Mangalore. One, it was good home food. That's the second big key takeaway from this video. Either learn to cook food or stay with your family where your family can cook you food. Home food matters a lot. When you're in a city like Bangalore, it's almost the norm to go out every day. The reason for that is everyone's going out. I'm in Japan right now and I've realized in the last like one month or so, okay, huh, when there are so many things to do around, uh, it becomes really hard for you to just, you know, be that person who's staying back home and eating home food. Right now, I'm like off to a jazz event in like an hour, as you can see. So as you are in these fancy cities, uh, there are upsides, there are also downsides. Try to keep that in check. I did not. I ended up affecting it. Number two, during your workday, do a bunch of things. I've talked about this before, but it's basically keep yourself hydrated. Don't look at the monitor for too long. If you are looking at the monitor for 30 minutes straight, maybe take a break, look at some point that's 20 meters further from you and then go back to your monitor. I talked about artificial tears, which keep your eyes hydrated in the last video. I've been told in the comments by a bunch of people who are much more senior than me and have used this for multiple years that they're not the best thing in the world. You should use some sort of Ayurvedic alternative, which I will link somewhere here that someone posted in the comments. Number three, let's talk about mental health a little bit. So when I was at Goldman, that one year when I was killing myself for like a bonus, I realized the reason I did that was because, well, I have a family back home. I was a sole earner back then. And it felt like, you know, this might lead to one disappointing my family. That was not the case. All your family wants is for you to be healthy and safe. If you're from a general middle class family, just graduated, got the one of the best offers in college, feels counterintuitive to, you know, leave a bonus, leave your job. As I've said, in hindsight, even if I would have gone back home, taken a three month break, not taken salary for three months and taken a slightly lesser bonus, things would have still worked out. Things always work out if you're in tech. In the end, what matters is your health and your family. If you have these two things sorted, I think everything else falls into place. So if you're ever at that juncture where you feel like you're going to disappoint your family, just talk to them. I'm sure they'll give you a nice solution. Number four, keep savings. I'm not a finance influencer. But the general theory here is put some money in FD, have a six month safety fund, uh, invest the rest of it in equities, a very safe fund like Nifty. If you're in India, we have some emotional baggage where you have to buy a family house, do that. 
buy the first house, have some six to eight months of a nest, invest the rest in equities. That's conventional advice. If you want me to give decent advice, it's invest in crypto, do day trading. I would not recommend, I don't do too much of it. If you have a nice backing beyond a point, I think that number in India usually is half a million to a million dollars. If you have that much, um, you can actually consider yourself financially free if you want to live a decent lifestyle in India. Uh, try to reach that number early and then when bad things happen, which usually happen as you age, uh, you have that nest egg uh, to go back to. For that, keep looking at your expenses from time to time. Uh, in Bangalore, I have no idea where my money went. I used to, what used to be hit my bank account would be 1.3 lakhs. What I was able to send back home would be 50,000, which means I was spending 70K a month. I don't think I spent that much even today uh, if I'm back home. And when I moved back home from Bangalore to Chandigarh, I realized my family expenses were like 30,000 rupees a month. So as I've said, in Bangalore, very easy to get carried away. Take care of your finances. When the bad days do come, your finances are what will end up saving you. So lastly, find a sport, a hobby, a gym, something. As you grow, you get less and less time for these things. Your motivation to do these things goes down. Try to create a habit of it. If you're not able to take out 30 minutes from your day for your health right now, you won't be able to later on. I used to play football, basketball, I cannot do a lot of those things now because of my surgery. You guys still can find a hobby, go deep into it. I'm not saying become the best athlete out there, but very basic health to take care of. If you can take out 30 minutes in a day for five days a week, I think you're sorted. You can. You're also more than welcome to do 75 hard. Very soon, whenever I get some free slot from work, I want to try that challenge myself. We'll see how that goes. But for you, actionable advice, number one, take care of your health. Two, family matters a lot. Three, eat a lot of home food. Four, take care of your expenses. We'll take care of you. That listen to the video, I'll see you in the next one. Okay.